Vicki Hyman is the face of HIV you don't always expect. A married mom with three children from a small rural town. She got her diagnosis after a routine checkup. My husband cheated on me. I didn't think I ever had that to worry about. I was thinking that, you know, okay, I'm married. I don't have to use protection with my husband. Um, we're together. It's him and I. Huh? Wrong. <laughs> if I'd have knew then, irregardless married or not, I would have still used protection. Listen to what people are trying to tell you. Because I have friends and family telling me, you know, even though you're married, be more careful, be more careful, be more careful. And I never listened. Vicki is not alone. At Care in Durham, an organization that does HIV outreach and education, Dr. Sharon Bynum says Vicki's story is one they've heard many times before. We've tested lots of married women who just felt like with the change in their husband's behavior, like him staying out all night or him changing his pattern or them checking their voicemails and things, all these things made them suspicious. So I'm saying just get tested, then you know. Dr. Bynum believes knowing your HIV status is empowering. But she says, unfortunately, some people are too scared to get tested or naive to think HIV could never happen to them. At the Duke Perinatal Clinic in Durham, half of all patients find out their HIV status during routine testing for pregnancy. They didn't know that they were HIV positive. They weren't expecting it. Uh, so that is a common time for people to find out. All right, so now we're just going to listen to his heartbeat, OK? Dr. Elizabeth Livingston says North Carolina law specifies that women should be tested for HIV early in pregnancy. Uh, when the patient comes in for her routine uh, prenatal care, we include HIV testing as part of that. It's important for the care provider to inform the patient they're being tested for HIV, but no written consent is no longer required by state, state law. A mother can refuse the test, but state law mandates once the baby is born, the mother or the baby will be tested at delivery. Your baby is right where it needs to be. He's growing very good, OK? I think I find most of our patients, when they find out the baby's going to be tested if they refuse, will go ahead and get their blood drawn. And I do think it's important because we can give the mom medication to help protect the baby early on, and that opportunity starts to slip away as you get uh, postpartum after birth. We've been able to go from a, a transmission rate of uh, 30 to 50 percent uh, from mother to baby of HIV infection and drop it down to less than 1 percent with the medication. <laughs> Vicki Hyman is thankful that her children were born before she was infected with HIV. Married or not, she says people need to know their HIV status and need to practice safe sex. You've got to be tested. You've got, you've got to use protection. Um, I know that it's a lot of people that may be married and don't feel the need to use protection, but I myself regret not using it because it, it could have kept me from becoming infected. It's, it's a hard thing to live with because now it's something I can't take medicine and clear it completely up. It's there. <laughs> it's not going nowhere. <laughs> it's knocking at your door every day. It's not clear at what interval people should be tested. And I have patients who say, well, I was tested during pregnancy. Now that's 20 years later, do I really need to get retested. Uh, unfortunately, we don't know what the activity is of the other part of that monogamous uh, relationship to be confident that there wasn't an exposure. Vicki wishes she asked more questions of her husband and that there was more open communication about their relationship. If you feel like you can't just be happy with me, can we at least talk about it before you go elsewhere and put us at risk? That's what I thought I should have done. To find out where you can get tested, call your local county health department or visit the National HIV Testing Resources website at www.hivtest.org or call CDC info at 1-800-232-4636. You gotta quit dragging your feet. The lesson I learned is you might be married, but you still have to use protection in order to protect yourself. You have to protect yourself to remain healthy. I have to live with it, but I can't let it consume my life. Now, I can't put it in the back of my head like it's not there, but 
I can go with my daily activities. I'm taking it one day at a time and I'm gonna make it. For more information on HIV and how to locate a testing site near you, visit www.nchealthystart.org. You can find it in the public section under Women's Health.